లైవ్ హలో ఎవ్రీబడి వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు అనదర్ సెషన్ ఆన్ వన్ క్వశ్చన్ అడే ది క్వశ్చన్స్ దట్ వి ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ టుడే ఈస్ ఆస్టియో డెంటిన్ అండ్ ఏ చేంజెస్ ఇన్ డెంటిన్ ఫస్ట్ గో విత్ ఆస్టియో డెంటిన్ దర్ ఆర్ రేర్లీ ఆస్క్ ఫినామినల్ ఇన్ యూనివర్సిటీ ఎగ్జామ్స్ బట్ నాట్ స్టిల్ యు కెనాట్ ఇగ్నోర్ ఇట్ ఆస్టియో డెంటిన్ ద ఫస్ట్ పాయింట్ హ్యాస్ టు బి ఇట్ ఈస్ అ టైప్ ఆఫ్ టర్షరీ డెంటిన్ it is formed in response to a noxious stimulus such as dental caries a restorative procedures or even a trauma the main points that you need to keep in mind is that it also has dentinal tubules but not normal tubules it may be continuous with that of secondary dentin but less in number or no tubules at all what happens is the cells forming the tertiary dentin lines its surface and later gets embedded into them forming the osteodentin it could be a reactionary dentin or a reparative dentin when there is the odontoblast survives the noxious stimulus and the quality of dentin produced after it is not of that pre quality that is called as reactionary dentin reparative the odontoblast failed to survive so new layer of odontoblast is formed but that is not also of that quality and that is called as reparative dentin new odontoblast being differentiated and the rate of tertiary dentin varies the dentin formation is persistent throughout the life though the rate will vary and when the dentin newly formed dentin is embedded inside the pulp that is called as osteodentin a varied variant so we have tertiary dentin you have reactionary dentin reparative dentin and osteodentin in a changes in dentin you have to classify it as it should be it can be either a morphological change or color change in morphological change of dentin you have color change and loss of translucency translucency in color change is due to the subsequent remineralization or change in mineral and water composition with age the dentin loses its ability to hold water water is an important constituent of dentin and the viscoelastic properties thereby altered not only that the cellularity changes it becomes more fibrous and less cellular more fibrous less cellular with age so that causes a change in the spatial correlations of this fibers loss of translucency because of the hydroxy apatite crystals morphological change in association with loss of water as you know calcium hydroxy apatite is predominantly made up of water 10h2o when there is water the prismatic changes as far as color is uh, concerned so there is a loss of translucency and together they lead to brittleness the structural changes that one needs or happens with the ages the appearance of sclerotic dentin appearance of detracts transparent dentin and tertiary dentin and formation of pulp stones or denticles functional adaptations you have what we call it as reticular atrophy of pulp and pulp stones to go in detail you know that dentin deposition is persistent for life so it continues till the end of life and deposition of secondary dentin causes reduction in the volume of pulp chambers and root canal so the pulp chamber becomes progressively narrowed the number of cells starts to decrease from about 20 to 70 years after which it totally regresses on aging there is loss or degradation of myelinated and unmyelinated axons along the reduction of sensitivity in the plexus of so there is increase in dead tracks because the tooth is continuously being exposed to noxious stimuli there is lot of dystrophic calcification or nidus of calcification in central pulp leading to denticles there is increased deposition along the intratubular dentin 
leading to reduction of tubular diameter thereby the odontoblastic process is compromised leading to decreased sensitivity and sensing the changes in the oral cavity when there is noxious stimuli there is formation of sclerotic dentin which is more common among the root and the apex progressively starting from the middle age this sclerotic dentin or calcification of the dentinal tubules in response to a noxious stimuli and death of odontoblastic process increases the brittleness of dentin and decreased permeability of dentin thereby rendering it more fracture prone also this could be in response to environmental stimulus attrition of enamel formation of dead tracts and when it is calcified completely you have transparent dentin when it is surviving the assaults tertiary dentins and pulp stones with that we come to the end of a changes in dentin and osteodentin stay connected with this channel to learn more and we'll come back again with another question another day happy learning